Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooltech Idris Station Liquid Cooling System. There are a number of things included in the main product, but before I go into that, I want to show you the water blocks. They have one here for AMD based systems or the Socket 462. Also one for the Intel Pentium 4 based systems or the Socket 478. Included in the main system is a 3 foot tube a template, a manual, two elbow joints, these are to be connected to the tube, a hex wrench, a jumper wire, a nozzle, some stickers, a serial cable, software drivers and the user manuals on this as well, an electric connector, three gaskets or plastic holders, a power adapter, and the main unit. Both of these water blocks are very well constructed. This one here is for the AMD or socket 462 motherboard. You can see here that it does have a three point design here on each clip and this just snaps into the socket on each side and when it's on there it's not going to go anywhere and with this design you don't need to have mounting holes in the motherboard. Also you have a really nice smooth copper base allowing great contact between it and the CPU. The Intel Pentium 4 or socket 478 water block again very well constructed and with this one you don't need mounting holes in the motherboard either because they've included this clip here. Now this clip just goes right into that plastic bracket which is on the motherboard. Also this one here has a nice smooth copper base again allowing great contact between it and the CPU. Installing the AMD socket 462 water block is extremely easy to do. First of all drop in your CPU and apply some thermal compound to it. Next carefully place the water block on top on one side first and then on the other side. And installing the water block for the Intel Pentium 4 based systems or the Socket 478 is just as simple. First of all drop in your CPU, apply some thermal compound, then drop the water block right into the bracket like so, then put the clip on top, snap the clip into the bracket below, and then just snap it into place. When the cover is removed, it reveals the standard items you'd find in any liquid cooling setup. You have a pump and a reservoir, inlet and outlet fittings, refill holes, a radiator, fans, but in this case you also have an electric computer as well as an LCD display. The first step in installing this product is to remove every electric component from inside your case. Next, remove the feet that are on the bottom of your case. Next, go ahead and take this template and place it on the bottom of your case and make sure you do this correctly. Once you do have it in the correct position, go ahead and use a pencil to mark out all these different holes. You've got four fixing holes, one right here, 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 and here. You've also got two large holes right here for the liquid inlet and outlet. You also have a hole right here for the electric connector. And now that you have all the holes marked with the pencil, you can start drilling. At this point I recommend just using a file or a Dremel tool to make these edges a little less sharp. They've included three rubber gaskets and these are to be installed in each of these holes. Next place the case right on top and screw it down with these four bolts. Next take this electric connector and plug it into the unit. Then you have two leads right here. One goes into your power supply. The other one can go into a fan or fans. And there's also a lead right here. You plug that into your power switch, the one that's at the front of your case. And then this lead goes into your motherboard where that power button would normally go. 
Next go ahead and cut all the tubing for the water block. You're going to need to cut two small lengths so they can come out and then the elbow joint is used and then of course another two lengths to go down to the unit on the bottom. And you should really test this outside of the system before you install any hardware just to be sure there's no leaks. At the back connect this red grounding wire to the case. Next you'll need to remove these two screws and put around one liter of distilled water. Next go ahead and plug the unit into the AC adapter. Then you can take this serial cable and plug it into the unit and then into your computer system. And using LCD software you can just monitor what's going on in the unit. At the front of the unit there are four buttons and one 20 by 4 LCD. At the top left there is a mode button and that will allow you to navigate through the menus. At the bottom left there is a select button and that will allow you to navigate with the cursor inside each screen. At the top right there is an up button and that will allow you to increase the selected value. And at the bottom right there is a down button and that will allow you to decrease the selected value. Now this screen you can also see the liquid temperature, the case temperature temperature, also the speed at which the fans are spinning, and the mode, whether it's an automatic setting or a manual setting. Within this screen, you can select the mode, whether it be automatic or manual. You can also set the liquid temperature. Here you can set the temperature the system has to keep. You can increase this value to reduce the noise of the system. Within this screen you can set the external fan speed, whether it be 50%, 65, 80, you can do that in here. Also you can set the seconds for the PC to shut down if there is a problem detected. Within this screen you can set the liquid overheating temperature and when it does reach this temperature it will alarm and it will also start the shutdown procedure. You can also set the pump alarm level here as well. Within this screen you can set the minimum value for the fans on the radiator and you can also set whether you want to display Celsius or Fahrenheit. And finally save your settings. This product does require some case modification in order to install it, but if you want it all in one unit, then this is an excellent product, and also the results are fantastic. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.